Hi friends, it's me and Sophie dropping in real quick to let you know that episode 2 of my new podcast called Turbo Dude is streaming live tonight on this channel at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Be there or be square. Also, we're going to see if I can figure out how to cover up the zit on my nose before tonight. Mwah. Let's get to the feet though, guys. That's a weird sentence out of context. <laughs> Phantom Pain is having an absolute heyday today, which means it's an excellent day to talk about blowing stuff up. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome. Come on, wheelchair, back to my channel. Have you ever been bored on a Tuesday and asked yourself, I wonder what it would be like to blow up a prosthetic leg or even better, to shoot it? Maybe this is unique to me. As a below the knee amputee, I am so grateful to have a prosthetic leg. In fact, to have multiple prosthetic legs. However, that does not mean that this life does not come with some frustrations. And yes, there are days when I have wanted to blow my prosthetic leg up. So one of you, my lovely followers, sent me a link to this video by a channel called Demolition Ranch called I Shot an Amputee's Leg, I Am Impressed. I believe they're gonna be shooting prosthetic sockets and seeing what happened. And I am genuinely curious to see how they come apart. Like, is it just a clean bullet hole through it? Does the entire thing just shatter? I mean, this is gonna depend on what type of socket they're using, like what the fabrication was, but I thought we'd take a look at this video together today and take out some deep-seated frustration against my prosthetic legs. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. But I brought your legs. You did, bring me legs. So these are all what are friends good for if not loaning you their body parts? You know, I've always wondered, if I get shot in the leg, is it, is it gonna is it gonna stop it or is it gonna go through it and then I'm gonna need another prosthetic? Yes. Genuinely, I have wondered that as well, which is why I was kind of excited to watch what unfolds here. I don't think that my little carbon fiber socket is gonna stand up in the face of a bullet, but you never know. So you want to know what this one single layer can stop. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, not even a quarter inch, but it's carbon fiber. <laughs> yep. I doubt it's going to stop at 22. I mean, but what I brought a bunch, so I'm guessing, what if you line up a bunch line of guys yeah. with prosthetics and see? Yeah, like you're in the hospital, a bad guy comes in, you get behind all of your amputee friends. Cut off a lot more legs than you guys have. Is this how you lost your leg? Oh. God, that's that's low-key a little bit jarring to see someone stabbing off someone's leg, even though it's just a dummy. They felt no pain in the making of this video. Don't worry, soldier. We got you. We can rebuild him. Today's <laughs> gun of the day. It's brand new. I don't know if I can show weapons on YouTube, guys. This is my job. I'm pretty sure YouTube does not look kindly upon weaponry. If it's blurred out, you know why. What? <laughs> Dude, it, it did not come out the back. No? That bullet's in there. So you're saying that- Oh, I, okay, genuinely, I expected the entire thing to like explode and it did not go through it. I'm imagining that th there are like metal components at the bottom there in prosthetic legs. So I'm wondering if those maybe stopped, if they shot higher in the socket, I feel like it might go clean through. Don't I sound like a super important ballistics expert? I know about bullets going through things. Okay, guys. Well, it might be in the- and his tibia came out right oh, at the bottom. Oh, okay, okay. But didn't have enough force to do anything else. Yeah, I would say for sure you could take a 22, and it's not really gonna do much. All right, stand there, Crispy. Let's go. Yeah, put, put I have here. difficulty put believing that, that. Slow mo looks really cool. Let's get to the feet, though, guys. That's a weird sentence out of context. <laughs> looks like I'm aiming straight. Okay, we actually did hit it. It went right there, right in the front. Let's see what happened. Yeah, and then it went right out the back. Oh, okay. So, Front, went in, through his chin, straight out the calf. Yeah, so it turns out my prosthetic socket would not protect me in a battle sort of situation. Not super surprised by that. It is still really interesting to me that it just goes straight through and it doesn't like crack it at all, right? Like it's just a bullet hole straight through. I mean, you can still survive that. Yeah, you can for sure, but it just doesn't help to have this. Yeah, it seems like having a socket doesn't, you know, help or hinder. I do wonder though, if a bullet went through a prosthetic socket into a body, if that would like push some of the carbon fiber and if that would be an issue or if I'm really overthinking it and don't understand how this stuff works. He's gonna get carbon fiber poisoning now because it's inside. All right, cool, yes. Now I think we line them up and see if you can stop it with all of your injured buddies in front of you. I do appreciate the dark humor because that is very common in my little community. That means I just gotta carry them all around with me now. Don't y'all travel in packs though? We do. We do. Whenever I see a pack of injured veterans, I run. Uh, we don't, because... <laughs> <laughs> I like that they're now just gonna have feet randomly lying around their property, much like my home. So we're gonna see if all of Crispy's friends um, can stop a nine millimeter from hitting Crispy. 
Yeah, that's a good shot. Okay, EOTech's perfect. What flew off the table? Ooh. It's the bullet. Ow! Is it? <laughs> yeah, and it's freaking hot. Fascinating. I wonder if it hit something metal? Whoa! Whoa. Okay, so if I have like Annika and Stevie with me, if we all line up, only one of us will lose the rest of our leg. Seems like a pretty good defensive strategy. So yeah, went in there, came out here and hit this and bounced straight up and... I am shocked. Sockets are maybe perhaps a little bit more resilient than I thought. Or you at least know that this one is gonna protect your left leg. You know, yes. if you get shot from the side, you're gonna get hit in the nub, but not the good leg. Okay, also good point that if, if I was attacked sideways, as long as it goes into my prosthetic first, that might actually protect my meat leg. Let's face it, the nub's already kind of messed up. Yeah, so, so just, when there's a bad guy, nub first. That's the stance. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make nub first into a t-shirt, but I but I feel like people would take weird connotations from that. Let's try 45, see what happens. 45. Okay, much, AC much larger bullet. Out. It went through, through, so it went bam, 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 and then it shot up. Okay, so 45, two, pros two prosthetics in front of me, so I would definitely need Annika and Stevie to stand in front of me if I wanted to keep the rest of my leg. Next up. Five, five, six out of the I feel like ACR. This, this might explode. Little tiny bullet moving very fast. One, two, three, four, five. Stop right here. Jeez. It went through seven. Seven prosthetic sockets. See, that's kind of honestly more of what I expected. Bullets are pretty powerful in my professional opinion, but I guess it would have to be a pretty powerful weapon. Carbon fiber is super strong and it's fibers like Kevlar is, but I didn't know if it would stop stuff. What if someone comes in with a shotgun? I feel like this okay, might shotgun. lead to explosion of a socket. Oh, wow. Yeah, much more. That's like what I expected to happen. Still no explosion though. Yeah, this is, this is oddly cathartic considering I'm very frustrated with having a prosthetic leg this particular day. Destruction. Demolition Ranch, thank you for the video content today. I, I genuinely had always wondered what would happen if you either blew up or shot a prosthetic socket. And knowing that because it's carbon fiber, there are fibers in the carbon fiber. God, I sound smart. It does actually make a lot of sense that it might, you know, provide some assistance in stopping a bullet. Good to know. Thank you for joining me on this little journey. Like I said, I don't know anything about Demolition Ranch or Crispy, but if you want to check out the original video, I've linked it in the description down below. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna go on with my day, probably take a walk, curse my prosthetic legs, maybe blow them up. No, I won't do that. They're very expensive and good to have, and I'm very grateful for them. Genuinely, I am. Love you guys, thinking about you, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys. The second I sat down to film this video, my neighbor decided at 2.55 p.m. that it is the time to weed blow his entire backyard. And I hope he's having a great time. I'm not remotely frustrated.